Hello and once again welcome to Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of Legendary Difficulty. It's time for another Antediluvian Ruin where we're meeting the Ancients once again. Uh, we need more resources and I hope that I could gather exactly those. We got the Prime team with us. They are fully equipped, at least the last time I checked they were. One thing that I would say is... Hmm... Might want to use the normal tower instead of that laser tower. And the reason why I want to go into that direction is the normal tower does have shred, and laser weapons typically do not have as much shred. So I'm just wondering if this is yet another side grade without shred. So I'll stick with the guns that I know. And uh, because this uh, team in particular can use all the shred they can get. Good, we landed. Just one comment around shredding and weapons in general before we're diving into this one here. One gripe that I do have with the game indeed is the fact that uh, it feels like many of the weapons are a bit of a side grade and not an upgrade. And why is the music so loud? Okay, dialed it down a little bit. So, my point was, most of the weapons appear to be a side grade and not a natural upgrade. And the problem that I see with that is really one of pacing and progression. If there would be a really tough uh, rock, paper, scissor type of uh, environment, where say you're getting to... I'm just making it up, but... You're, you're getting to laser weapons and lasers are the hard counter for a type of specific uh, armor and you really need them because they deal like 180-200% damage against that uh, type of armor then I could understand why you would want to go um, with laser weapons from time to time but since laser weapons are not doing that, but are instead really just feeling like they do a little bit more damage, okay, cool. Um, but at the same time, they are also not shredding as much, which then is oftentimes not helpful. I wonder why that decision has been uh, made. It's so much easier to just go with the principle that XCOM had uh, used where you are definitely having weapon, noticeable weapon upgrades from tier to tier. But apparently that uh, there was a decision made to not go with that. Anyways, moving up. We are overwatching and we're being careful. Let's focus a bit on the mission and not on ranting about things that we can't change anyways. Well, we could with mods, but you know what I mean. So ancients are somewhere here, which leads me to believe that we just need to spot them out. And Ian the Butcher owns could be just a type of person who spots them out. I think the golem was somewhere over here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it was. Good, let's try to position ourselves up here. Everybody moves up. Well, 
Well, we could be flanked from here, so I'm not going to go too deep. Again, Murphy is just being careful here. Grell moves up on this ang uh, flank. And our melees, we got everybody up here. Uh, so the last melee, Shattered Realm, moves over here. So we got Shattered Realm, uh, the Butcher and Grull, all melee characters. Grull is also uh, having a range capabilities, so we're actually good. Okay, one more round of moving forward and then we're giving it a go. Ian moves up because next round we're war crying. Dranks, who's uh, his battle buddy, moves up with him. Always having the inspire, uh, the onslaught ready to go. this but it's wide open to any uh, um, ambush from the other side so shall we rather stay here knew it I knew it um, Okay, we want to shred armor. And that's where Boom Blast is coming in. There might be more over here. Is 50 armor. Uh, that means something is armor free. Dilly moves over, and we're just finishing this guy. there was something odd going on. Need the turret somewhere else, so retrieve it. Yes, please. And move up. We're going to place it here. position ourselves here for now. Deploy turret in the open. Move 
back into cover. We are recovering. There's no need to rush it too fast. Let's just recover wherever needed. And end of turn. Good. Now, this time we're going. We're going for real. Frenzy. Marked for death. There we go. Boom blast. And I would not be surprised if we are just uh, mm, triggering the entire map. Okay, lots of damage there. Okay, so, Adrenaline Rush. I actually wanted to destroy some armor first. Luckily we decided to bring our turret along. Okay, well that's a lot of damage. Before we're continuing to shoot, because we could definitely continue to shoot. 120. 240. Almost 400, 500, holy shit, the PDWs once the armor is gone are merciless. Dilly is running that completely by himself. Guy dead? I think he is. Good. It gives us enough time to get back into cover. Still might be enemies over here, so I gotta be careful. into all directions we don't want to really split out too much next turn should be a nice little regaining of uh, willpower but now that we've started uh, the golem might not be possible Nope, not 
going to be possible. I'm still getting goosebumps whenever I see these guys. The first encounter with them has really put the fear of God into me. Good jump. And jump. Ah, they are still far away. Just out of curiosity, could we could move up? Dranks could move fully out of line of sight to here. We got one dash. We got a normal move. We're handing over two actions for onslaught. We're doing rapid clearance because now is the time to shine. Ian moves up. Free switching in with the hammer. There we go, one down. Hit. Hit, two down. And we just went over them like it's no man's business. I love it. So, this should be still in line. Moves to here, which is the absolute maximum to just receive this here. just going to shout uh, to make this guy fall apart oh yeah we got two more hostiles up there okay cool well yeah we're definitely going uh, going to shout Heading over remote control, and remote control it is. More remote control. And more 
remote control it is. Damn, can't sprint there. with a shield still shield still remains to have just too much armor Reduce the armor a little bit and deal some damage. But we won't be able to get the shield completely down. It's a shame. Murphy positions himself there. Dashing over. Can't dash another time. Oh no, so close. Yeah, down to almost nothing. But it's okay, he's dazed. And we are going to war cry. Interesting, we found even more enemies. No, not good. No, no, no. Ooh, that would have been a KO. Okay, well, we weren't aware that they would be coming. Oh my lord, Jeranx is lucky. But I don't know how accurate they are, it's quite a, quite a distance, so maybe he's not lucky, who knows. Let's start over here. Uh, I think we're okay. This is just so hardcore to uh, to get these guys down. Putting, by the way, this here. <coughs> he 
needs to heal himself and he needs to get completely out of line of sight. Good, in terms of repairing uh, the body parts, that should be an option. Grell in the meantime charges up, can't hit anyone with our shout unfortunately. We're dashing over with Ian. Inappropriate Murphy needs to rebuff next round. Yeah, can't really hit from here. Good, Dilly overwatches in this direction, too far away to hit anything. Okay, and finally Shattered Realm. Moving all the way to here. Could go a little bit quicker. I find it surprising just how far uh, Ian can always run. <coughs> it's crazy. By the way, decoy really good. Specifically if it's the decoy of Jarangs who just got murdered. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have been so afraid. Their laser accuracy does not seem to be the best. Three shots, three misses. Prophet Murphy moves up. Inappropriately screams. We're then putting that and that up. Very much heals you to full. Love it. Rapid clearance. Last points. Move up. Drengs moves over. Hands over actions. And we're looking at one hit, two hits to get him down. We have no more onslaught, right? No, we don't.
Well, what's the right call here? I think this one. Ian further moves up. Takes more kills for reset. And now all we need to do is hurt that last guy. Easier said than done though. more actions but I don't know if that would work out potentially not definitely need to get a little bit more onslaught going if we have one hardcore soldiers like we, uh, soldier like we currently do can't run in because I'm not a hundred percent sure if we will kill it with one strike there's a chance but it's not a given Once again we see that Shattered Realm is unfortunately a little bit too slow because we could have just moved up there, killed him. But yeah, heavies, right? Daily moves up, takes the overwatch but is very far away. And we do the only sensible thing, which is war cry. Putting ourselves to here, and then ending turn. Good, let's see if we would have killed him in, in one blow. Yeah, we would have. Well, you never know that in advance, right? Like you just don't. And would I have moved there completely, then we would have uh, still had to deal, even if I had moved there and war screened right next to him, I couldn't have moved away. So <clears throat> he gets a melee attack. And I think there like power fists or whatever it is, that's only one action point. That is only one action point. So what did we free up here? Protein mutane enables to manufacture from exotic material. Hmm. I was hoping we would get more materials, but what is this? Well, not sure. Um, look, the problem is I really want to stay in this proximity here because my gut tells me we have no one else. The nearest clearing is over here, but we do have two missions. So essentially what we would need to do is these guys would need to fly. 
to here and then okay I've already planned that yep they're flying there cool which means the Heliuses are making their way there for now because that's also a mission Research complete. advanced melee weapons so we now got the dragon's tooth um, well that's bleed damage not sure and we got some piercing damage plus virus is that really good 100 plus and that's 100 and a little bit of virus damage let's double check so the mauler that we're currently using i actually find that quite good also with the stun and so on it's not a bad one so there we go marduk's fist 160 damage yeah so that's the baseline why would i then go to 100 plus piercing that's literally doing less damage all it does is it applies virus okay and then the other new one was the dragon's tooth which arguably deals more damage because um, you can apply bleed look i can see that um, that's not a generally terrible trade but still the shock really good hmm construction complete Okay, let's double check. These guys are off to their next mission. That's the next mission. These guys are off to their next mission. I have so many missions yet again going. Okay, well, New Athens is going to be our next episode, guys. I want to thank you if you... Uh, if you enjoy the ancients and just generally the content of and just generally the content of Phoenix Point, then uh, give it a thumbs up. Think about it. It uh, doesn't take much for you, and it would mean the world for me. And uh, with that, I would wish you a good day and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.